all right guys welcome back to another video let me clean you guys up real quick looks like i got you dirty but yeah welcome back to another video guys sorry this video is late um i got this thing called a job yeah i know um we were working from home for a little while so i didn't have to travel all the way to work which made my life easier but now that i have to waste 15 20 minutes to get back and from work um yeah it delays things um and then traffic makes it worse so it's just a whole shenanigans but yeah i gotta show up to this uh so-called job and um yeah i won't be back for a little bit um and then we'll continue to make this video but i definitely appreciate every single one of you being here today i uh, just want to let you know what's going on and why the videos have been a little late than usual um but appreciate you guys sticking around thank you very much for following and um yeah gotta get back in there and uh get this money all right see you in the garage Alrighty guys, before we do move on with this video, I do want to welcome our new subscribers. We have eight new subscribers. That's cuatro plus cuatro equals eight. Yes, we have eight new subscribers, guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining the team here with our YouTube family. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much uh, for subscribing. Don't forget to share and like. Um, but yeah, with that said, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. Let's get on with this video. Vámonos. Alright guys, so I've been dying to try this trick for like ever. Uh, seen it on the TikToks, so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my grandpa used to do this, uh, but I never thought it would work. Well, I stand corrected. It popped the dent out and we were able to hammer it while it was out. And we just got one, two, three, four, five creases. Five major creases we need to take off. out next. Um, I'm gonna continue to work it with the ball, see how much it helps, and then when the ball does not help anymore, that's when we start putting our uh, stud welder out and start pulling it with the studs. Sheesh, that's crazy. Can't believe that actually worked. That start struck me. And I was trying my uh, little frame machine here, little puller, whatever, pusher, but this was too flimsy and the ball is able to get in here where it's structurally good on the door and grab more than just uh, what that was grabbing so gives more pressure to the door yes sir uh, we do have the window regulator in our way uh, we're not able to do it but with the ball we should be just fine let's figure it out
Okay, guys. So it's really late at night. I don't know what time it is. I don't even want to check. But, um, yeah, we put some glades on top of uh, the bondo we just put on the bottom uh, just to uh, get some of the major. And then we put the glaze. I forgot how freaking thing this glaze is. Um, and, yeah, I'm dropping some of it on the bottom. Uh, but I was able to get it on the whole panel. This is going to ensure that we have a flat, flat surface uh, without having to do much sanding work. Uh, but we're just gonna let that dry overnight and we'll be back tomorrow and another one more guide coat if that guide coat comes out good because this one did have little uh, high and low spots so uh, after this one we should be just fine uh, it was a mission guys trying to get it over there uh, where there's no uh, no dings or anything I was just I don't know how to explain it it was like too too gooey or not gooey uh, i don't know it was just hard it was almost like liquid uh it was just drizzling down so i had to put a little thin 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 just thin layer just to cover the uh, bundle in the bottom you can see some of the pieces that's the old harner with the glaze uh it used to be green now we got a new harner with this glaze is white and blue so that's why it looks different colors the other one was yellow and blue harner so it looked kind of like green yellowish green but yeah this is going to be the new color of our glaze nice huh and yes i know it would be better if the door will be off that way it's a flat surface it levels up itself but your boy has never taken a door of this trucks off especially not the rear ones and after doing the obs doors yeah i don't want to get with all that mess of aligning this thing or whatever i did look at the hinges and uh they don't look friendly, so I'm just going to suck it up and do it like this. Well, after further inspection, it looks like it's easier than I thought, guys. Yes, sir. I don't know how good you're going to see there. It's a little dark, but it has one bolt, two bolts, and three bolts somewhere over here. Three bolts down there. I already disconnected the electrical part of it. So once we disconnect those three bolts, it should just lift up and we can get it out of here. Oh, all right, guys, good morning. Welcome back. I just got some wax and grease remover. We were running out of the other one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and spray some Geico and let that dry and then start sanding this. Uh, I forgot what it's called, the new body work uh putting there we go putting oh man but yeah so let's go ahead and spray some guy coat on this should be dry Ugh, let's check this thing out make sure it's dry try to sink in my nail oh no it is super dry all right guy coat time open the door so you don't spray the rest of the truck All right, guys, I got started up entertained, so it's been an hour, drying for an hour, so it should be fine. Let's go get, let's go ahead and get it sanded, yes, sir.
Okay guys, so we went ahead and finished up the body work. As you guys can see, we is done with it. Yeah, looking good. We went and started our masking right here. We're gonna go ahead and finish masking and taping once we get to the paint booth. Um, obviously, we're gonna plug that down there as well. But uh, for now, it's ready for primer. Uh, right there, as you guys can see, we have pulled the hit out. Done a good job. We got away with some PDR on the back, so that's pretty good. Uh, but we weren't able to get us so lucky up here due to some hail damage it had on it and stuff like that. So, yeah, I didn't want to spend too much time on the door. So, we went the cheap, easy route and uh, just put some bondo and putting. And, uh, yeah, it's ready for primer. Um, the thing is... Paint booth is out of order, guys. So, this video is going to be late, yes. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to see the paint and final till next video. So that We did all that extra stuff for no reason, guys. Um, we went ahead and primed it in-house. We were not going to wait for the paint booth. Uh, it's just too long. They're uh, two weeks back, and I got to get this done before winter hits. So we fire our heater. It's doing its job. Uh, it looks like we are, uh, what are we here? We're at 59 right now, outside is 30. Yeah, it's it's cold now, man. So we're gonna wait for that to get all to the 70s. Um, and then after that, move it to the 80s. Take the door off, Take put the truck outside, put the door here, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna do it in-house. It's just one door. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then it's our flip truck, so, huh. Yep, we're working on our own stuff nowadays, guys. Woo-wee, Gucci, Gucci. All right, well, let's go ahead and take the door off and um, go from there. Oh, well, it is what it is. So thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far to the video, please like, share, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Appreciate every single one of you. And uh, don't worry. We got a lot of work to do today and tomorrow and the next day. We got a lot of work, guys. Hasta la próxima. Bye.